the elephant in the room. <laughs> the seven foot cock. <laughs> I predict that lipsticks will be big next season. Huge. Something about dictating? Male diction? <laughs> this clothing rack is perpendicular. <laughs> We've had to have a medic on site today because we have such a huge chrome statue and it might fall on someone. It's been a very slow oh day. Oh God, it's been a, a, a seriously <laughs> schlong day. Should we just move on to cock? Yeah. yeah. In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of my new lips campaign shot by Zong Lin. So we're shooting the campaign with Zong Lin, Nick Royal, styling. <laughs> when I was working on the treatment for the lips campaign, I wanted to do something that felt very different to the collections that were already out there. And I wanted to do something that felt a lot more retro for this campaign. So I was looking at images from Nova Magazine, Harry Pecciannotti, Hans Feuerer, these old school beauty photographers that used to shoot really graphic close-ups of lips, of cosmetics, of body parts. And for me, that just felt like the right mood for something that was already so graphic and kind of spoke very much for itself. So the makeup today is all about lips, obviously, so we're doing a really kind of natural, beautiful base on all of the models, a little bit of mascara just to accentuate the lashes, and then we're going big on the lips. So we're doing a glam, wet look, co-marks. Um, I think we thought about 18 porn stars, I think that was the... That was the reference. <laughs> that, uh, that Sorry Armour book is like quite inspirational for hair and makeup um, because like, a lot of those models have that really gorgeous wet kind of hair and actually this is, you know, he uses a lot of chrome in his work and we've got some chrome bodices. Should we go and have a look at them actually? These bodices um, and this will be for the, um, the black lipstick, lip balm and then we have this big chrome bodice here so that's going to be for this one as well and then we have a like a couple of red latex pieces over here sorry Nick don't mind me <laughs> um, that we're going to use just to kind of highlight the color red and make it feel really graphic and pop when we shoot it I'm so involved in the creative process behind each campaign that I do that I wanted to direct the video for the lips campaign myself and I think it presented some challenges because you know the obvious nature of this object wasn't something that I wanted to play too heavily into I wanted to find an interesting way of talking about it I decided to commission my friend George Clark who's a lyricist in the metal band Deaf Heaven to write a piece of prose around what this object kind of is about and what it represents and then we kind of played that over the video and abstracted it and interspliced it with these images of couples doing naughty things um, and so for me it was a way of kind of bringing in subliminal messaging to the video as an interesting way to allude to things whilst also looking at this object. I've always been a massive fan of Zong Lin's work and wanted to work with her for a really long time. I love her approach to colour and retouching. Everything has a kind of a unique vintage quality to it. And I think with this object, the idea of bringing it into a new world which felt very unique was really important to me. Her work was really the perfect kind of um, antidote to this modern object. We had a seven foot cock built, which will be going in my back garden eventually. Part of the fun, you know, and the simplicity of this whole concept was everything's just about the object, you know, everything's there to just kind of 
bring it to life and in many ways it was the easiest thing that we've done so far because it speaks so much for itself but it was also a lot of fun. So myself and Ajok had the pleasure of riding this enormous chrome cock and um, looking utterly fabulous in and around it and um, yeah I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think one of the interesting things about this campaign is it was so simple. We were just shooting a red lipstick and a lip balm, but we were able to really create a world that kind of didn't diminish the simplicity of the lipstick. It just helped to accentuate it. And for me, that's kind of the perfect balance. And that's exactly what you want from a campaign. So that was a behind the scenes look at the lips campaign shot by Zongling for Isamea and I hope you enjoyed watching and I can't wait for you all to receive your cock in the post.